until I heard certain things on this floor. And I felt that we needed to clear that. I'm an Igbo man, and our people say that the, when the traditional healer is making medicine for the eye, that he shouldn't find pepper nearby. Because any pepper that goes into the eye means that that medicine will not work. Mr. President, distinguished colleagues, I want to talk specifically on the matter of whether people were being sent away. No Nigerian is being sent away from anywhere. Criminals are being sent away from the forest where they are. And so, when we now come here and say, some people, after doing this thing and they're sending people away, you send the wrong message out. The message is simple. The police, IG, has told us these are criminal elements coming from outside Nigeria. And what we should ask ourselves is, if somebody is a criminal and he is in the forest, what is he doing inside there? And we want to paper over matters of this nature to please whatever. What we want to say is simple. We either want to solve this problem, and in order to solve the problem, the desideratum is that all criminal elements that are coming into this country from wherever they are must be flushed out. Simply sit up. Honestly, when you hear people talk like this, you know, you will be revived. You will be happy that, yes, we are still, we still have people who are still sane, who are still mentally okay. Because all of the things that we've been hearing, left, right and center, I don't know why, what they are afraid of. I don't know what they are afraid of, whether they are afraid, whether it is wickedness, whether it is a, a being insensitive to the plight of the people. I can't just fathom it. People will be painting, 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 painting. And just like Habaribe said, nobody is being sent out anywhere. And do you know the most embarrassing thing there? The police, I, I started hearing it from the police from Ogun State. That was last year or two years back. When they were telling us, they were complaining, when farmers were complaining to them that, you see, uh, this is a Fulani Esme, they are troubling us. They finished our crops, they finished our farms, all the money that we spent, this and this and that. Do you know what the police said? They said it specifically, ah, these people that you are complaining about, they are not from, they are not the one that you have been living with, that they are from outside. And I was shocked to my bone marrow. They are coming from another country and you can't do anything about it. On whose permission did they come? And what gave them that right to come into another country and be doing such a thing? And you think uh, something is not wrong somewhere. That being said, just like he said, the IG still said it. These are criminal elements. But unfortunately, most of the people from the north, they are not saying that these people are coming from the outside. They are, they are owning them, just like uh, Captain Blaze said. They are, they are owning the problem. They are saying these are our people. But the police will be telling you that uh, these people are coming from outside. And what will a normal human being be doing inside the forest? Those are the people who are being chased away. If the IG of police could confirm that, yes, these are criminal elements that came from all the way from wherever they came from. The, and also the Seriki Fulani of Oyo State that was chased out told us that uh, these people are coming from Kano, uh, Kebi. They are coming from uh, the north. They are not the ones around them. You know, all those things are just excuses here and there. We know the truth and we still want to cover it up and we still want progress. It's not going to work. It will never work. It can work. This is the man, like I said before, that uh, at, the, at the Senate, they don't even talk anything about it. But the only person that talks about this whole insecurity, he said it last year, if I could remember. He said it vividly. But they didn't allow him to, of course, he was able to express himself. But the next day, Gaba Shew came out and said, oh, he was speaking from the opposition party, opposition side. So that is why it's like that, this and that. And not long, this is, it started, uh, started happening on a daily basis, this issue of insecurity and this kidnapping here and there. And they can't say anything. I don't know, any time you talk about Fulani Esme, they will be agitated. The presidency will be agitated. And you are telling us that they, they know nothing about these people. And you are telling us that uh, they, 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 they are not... Uh, backing them this man has spoken the truth he has spoken the truth and nothing but the truth 
they are all concerned like he said that they are sending they are sending wrong narratives are they you are not talking about the the the, the incident that happened the atrocities being committed no they are being chased away they are being chased away that is the language we have been hearing <laughs> it's unfortunate but we still have people who are see who are see who are still thinking right as we speak some people who call themselves leaders they are into they are not into hiding they've gone hiding they can't come out and say anything the ones that are even showing up they are trying to be diplomatic Oh, we have to do it like this. We have to do it like this. What is, you know, when people begin to say, oh, some people are slaves, you will like, ah, ah, some people just want to say anything that just comes out of their mouth. Why should it be that when these so fulani, the so called fulani S men, with all the atrocities, as we speak, it's not as if it has even, it has reduced. As we speak, and they themselves, they are even making video here and there. Even without even all these ones, all the people who are making videos on social media, we have been hearing even from the the conventional uh, radio and uh, television houses. They've been coming out to tell you that oh, if their people try to to fight back, it will be bloody, it will be deadly, it will be dangerous here and there. Those are the things that you are hearing from them. Uh, like I said, as we speak, all these people are still committing all these atrocities, atrocities, and yet the police has not been able to apprehend one, just one person, just the way they always parade Yahoo Yahoo boys. They parade them. They will tell you, oh, I think some days back the police said in Abuja they arrested, according to them, they reported that a uh, Igbo, some Igbo boys, about six of them, allegedly, you know, they said they are kidnappers. It's in an allegation. And they started displaying them. So, with all the noise, with all the cry of people concerning this Esme, the police people have not deemed it, deemed it fit to arrest any of them. And meanwhile, they go with AK-47. It is a known fact. It is an established fact that everybody knows about. What do they do? They cover it up. And like I said, all go to the all the police stations in the south. They are arresting people anyhow. In other, you know, in, uh, things are related to other things, not even Esme or whatever. But why is it that the same thing that is bringing, causing Wahala, they've not been able to arrest them? So those who are being chased out, according to Abari Bay, they are criminals. They are criminals. And, and they are still defending them. I don't know, because it is now the order of the day for them to tell you that, uh, oh, bandits, like, uh, like Mama just said, that you can't compare IPOB and um banded together because they are not the same i thought they are not the same that they will be treated like criminals they will be treated like criminals you know that they are criminals but now you are still giving them money you are begging them to drop their weapons we are at, uh, dealing with a uh, book on one hand and again bandits are coming the next thing you are going to be hearing just like uh, the gumi said that they should give them amnesty what you are going to be hearing again is a uh, s men now they are saying, oh, they are treating them badly. They are treating them badly. That is the country we've really found ourselves. It's unfortunate, so very, very unfortunate. Who is going to save us from all of these things? Who is going to help us? It is we ourselves that we see help ourselves. We don't have to give up. Because all what the, the evil people in this country want is just for us to give up and begin to live like that. It's not going to work like that. So guys, let's say your opinion in the comment section. Thank you.